Hey Pete. How's hey, it going? Hey Jason, how you brewing, man? Good, good. How Long you brewing? time no see. Yes, well, I know you're brewing well because you have a, I heard the cops had to set up traffic cones because you have like a line out your driveway. There was your there was a to. cop there last night. Yeah, yeah. This this IPA I made, um, the neighbors are gobbling it up. It's it's a beautiful thing. That's nice. Yeah. A lot of, re, uh, a lot of uh, positive I, reinforcement. I give them the first one for free. Have you ever heard that story before? <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know how that works? And then the rest of get them hooked. You, you yeah. get sexual favors in yeah. return for the beer. Favors. <laughs> favors. <laughs> the barter system yeah. is alive and well. Hey, we um, don't have any real housekeeping today. We just want to give a quick video and highlight some Kent County uh, mm. beers. Where? Kent, Kent County is this county in Delaware that's below Sussex or above Sussex. All right, keep talking. <laughs> it's starting to ring a bell. It's, a, it's one of the three counties. Does it matter? You never heard from it from your fourth grade class? Oh, fourth grade. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. <clears throat> it starts at the canal, right? No. <laughs> I found fourth grade. That's a sign of a shoot a Wilmingtonian. Yeah. They think yeah. it starts at the canal. Yeah, we're, we're kind of elitist. It's true. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. you have yeah. cause to be. Wilmington. <laughs> One of the world's top cities. That's it. So we give a lot of love to Wilmington yes. and to Newcastle, New, New uh, Castle Breweries. Our neighbors, of course, here provide us with some nice, beautiful beers. But we need to give some Kent County love. Yeah, we got man. Mr. Pillion right at the bottom of Kent County. Who always has great beer names. They do. McLovin Mango. Come on. McLovin Mango. They got their, uh, their I guess their flagship IPA is that uh, Space Otter. Yeah, are they the ones with not today Satan or reach around? Do they have the reach yeah. around? I think so. I don't know. I, there's so many names. We got uh, Boora, which is in the very top of uh, Kent County. Yeah. A county in Delaware. Awesome. Clockwork, Clockwork Orange is a great beer. Yep. And Fordman Dominion Brewing. Fordman Dominion is in Kent County, but it's a little bit of a weird case because I think the guy who owns Ford has so many business interests in Maryland. Mm. That it feels like kind of a Maryland brewery outpost mm. for his like Delmar. Mar no, it's Kent. It's Dover. <laughs> so, anyway. so are they relabeling uh, White Claws, or is that a Red Bull? This is I don't know. It's interesting. Um, are they trying to fool us into thinking dress. it's a pounder? It does seem like less than that, but it's the same as, uh, mm -hmm. as that. It's, weird. it's an optical illusion. Yeah, it is. Don't be fooled. Like, Let's try them. Right. What do you think? What, what's this one? This is from um, oh. Autumn March. It's their, their lager. Uh, the Pilsner? Pilsner, yeah. Very crushable. I love it. Oh, my goodness. This is from yeah, Autumn March. March they, they just crank out the goods. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, congratulations. Yeah, that's great. All right. What do you want to try? I feel we got a bunch of different styles, so what do you want to try first? Let's go with the McLovin. All right. I'm feeling kind of fancy. So the Kent County Beers Championship here. Blue Earl versus Miss Billion yeah. versus Fordham and Dominion. The brackets. We're we'll doing see. the brackets. Yep. It's, it's May Madness. It smells good. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. It's a seasonal. What a nose on that guy. There's a meerkat on the can. Yeah, I gotta get to. I gotta get down there. I like their vibe. Yeah. They do a video. Did you see? You posted that one yeah. the Star Wars one. <laughs> that funny. was great. The, the troopers were like, <laughs> of course, Darth man. He yeah. had it. He, he had a good pour. Of course. That's lovely. That's. It's really nailed it. Really good. Congratulations, you win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Looks so yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, the mango is just. Yeah, super, super explosive. Nice. I wonder why they call it milk, milkshake style. Do they have lactose in it? Um, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, I'll, that's a winner. I will yeah. I will be purchasing that yeah. in my local yeah. beverage store. All right. Next up, this is an old favorite of ours. Yeah. We we know what's in here. <laughs> this takes me back to my early um, craft brew drinking when I was like a big Magic Cat number nine guy. Mm, still great. I like that um, real apricot uh, that you get from the number nine. And here you get that real orange. It's not like, it's not like a hint, you know, oh, I 
Sen sensors it, orange notes. There's is that a is that a um, is that a Beatles reference? Number nine. <laughs> yeah, Number know. nine. It's a good question. Magic Hat has since been purchased, so they're dead to me now, right? <laughs> Speaking of purchased, Fordham and Dominion had been owned by AV InVev for a while. Mm, really? Mm -hmm. Another reason why it's kind of like the forgotten Delaware brewery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to get John Metcalf from Delaware Beer History mm. on the top. I wonder if he knows anything about it. It's good as usual. It's great, but you know what? The mango, kind of like just tasting them in quick succession. Yeah, like yeah. This, you don't get the orange as much. No, it's a little overpowering. On the, we need uh, some ginger to cleanse the palate. <laughs> I'll have to put that back in the fridge and uh, drink it at, at at my leisure, at our leisure. Still a great crushable beer. Good mm -hmm. summer beer. You know, it's just about a year that you and I were sitting over on Autumn March talking about. We're gonna to go to all the uh, mm. all the breweries in Delaware. Yeah, we were so excited. Yeah, I still should do yeah. that. Yeah, it's a new year, a new beer. Yeah. yeah, we were gonna start that reality TV show, all that fun stuff. <laughs> well, this is it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is it. All right, all right. I can't. Do you want the cherry blossom lager or the uh, double D IPA? I guess that's their flagship IPA. So double D. You do see that in liquor stores all over the place. I do. Package stores. So. It's funny, I don't really see up in Wilmington. I don't see the... No. For, I'll have to keep my eyes no. out. Let's do the double. Oh, you know, let's do the cherry lager. That's, that's a little off the beaten path and something yeah. for a summer, a beautiful summer day like today. Yeah, because we're going to be going back to this and just enjoying that. So. Okay. What are you brewing next, Pete? That's such a good question. We're thinking about doing like a... Um, like an imperial, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. An imperial, imperial stout that we can ferment all summer. Uh -huh. I know a lot of folks actually brew stouts in the summer just to let them sit because we're doing an imperial. We're going to go for like mm -hmm. above 10%, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to throw tons of yeast at it. Just let so it like keep it in the basement, keep in the basement. Or yep. Something. yep, exactly. That sounds good. And come, you know, October, we'll, we'll see what, ha what we made. <laughs> Good luck on the patience. Okay, here we go. Cherry blossom and all. I over poured here a little bit. Interesting. Very interesting. You get a little cherry. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's sweeter than I expected. It's nice. It's, like, it's kind of the problem, right? There's like lots of lots of carbonation. Uh -huh. It's got a bite to it, you know. Yeah, so it had been um, sold to AB InVent for a while, so a lot of people were like sort of down on Fordman uh, because yeah. you know it's not independent, mm -hmm. you know, blah blah blah. But um, apparently that merger acquisition, whatever it is, didn't work out, so it's now it's independent again. Oh, cool. Good, good to point out because I know a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, are not big fans of uh, the inbebs of the world yeah. when companies kind of sell out, which <laughs> right. I would in a heartbeat, by <laughs> the way. Course. I will sell them whatever they want. <laughs> I have nothing against people taking the taking the payday. No. If they worked for it and they built the business up. But that's good. We should maybe get to their, their tasting yeah. room sometime and check it out. Now, this is a little ignorance on my part, but Fordham and Dominion, they were two different breweries at one time, right? There was Fordham and Dominion. Or am I mixing that up? I don't know. There was some George, there was the one was in Georgetown, right? It's called John Metcalf. <laughs> John. <laughs> it's a new, yeah. Another question for John yeah. Metcalf. I think our Kent County tour of beers uh, is pretty good. Mm. The beers are pretty, the this is nice. Miss Pilly well, said what, it's always good. What else is in, in Kent County? Well, there's uh, the Jackal, that's Kent County, right? They just opened up. You were killing me with your Wilmington geography. <laughs> that's Middletown, which is in Newcastle County. Why? <laughs> Why is Middletown in Newcastle County? <laughs> oh my God! This is, this where's is great. the sign at? I wish it's where's the sign that says "Welcome to Kent County." Yeah, Kent County. Yeah, and then just, I floor it. Then I floor it to get through there as quickly as possible. Just above, just before you get into Smyrna. Smyrna's mm -hmm. like right on the line. 
So the sign is down okay. that, all the way down okay. there. Okay, yeah. So you got Middletown, Odessa, and Townsend all in southern Newcastle County. Gotcha. And, um, wow, you know. They're I like was, the redheaded stepchildren exactly. of uh, Newcastle County. <laughs> I wonder is that if, the like, first person you said that? We could that. annex them or something. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, all right, so now we've done um, Kent County. Maybe we should do a southern Newcastle County because there's a lot of breweries in, down in southern, southern Newcastle County. Southern Newcastle County, okay. There we you got, go. Volunteer, first date, jackal, jackal now, crooked mm -hmm. hammock, and so um, that's. I feel like they're getting getting their fair share, but we'll we'll, we'll keep going. We'll have to check John's uh, page. How many breweries Delaware is up to now? So it was in the thirties. Yeah, I think it's 30, Did anything close 36. during the, the pandemic? Not that I know. Of. Any closures? Congratulations, we made it through the pandemic. Yeah, we made it through this uh, YouTube video. Mm -hmm. You did too, if you're still watching it. That's right. Subscribe. You feeling okay? I think we're up to eight subscribers. Can you smell anything? <laughs> Man, that, that... My allergies hit me the other day, uh -huh. and I, I actually felt sick. Uh -huh. And, like, it's just one of these things now. Like, every time I ate yeah. something or anything, yeah. I was smelling it. Like, <laughs> am I dying? Okay, cool. I can still smell it. I was, um... Yeah. Still... I tell you what, that's a crazy... Um, like, I have, I have a couple of... Of, of friends that that you know recovered mm. from COVID, but yeah. they still can't smell. I know that's terrible. Especially yeah, if you, and they go through training. They retrain themselves. How really? to, yeah, there's a whole thing. If, if you're a beer lover and you can't smell or taste, well, I mean, it's a big part of just like food, eating a yeah. steak or something. Yeah. You know, like you want to smell that, right? Yeah. Well, hopefully they get better. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't we, care. I didn't get it. We're trying to. <laughs> I can still smell everything. It's not always a good thing, folks. <laughs> With that little nose, you should, you people should see this tiny pug he's got, and you can you can smell with that thing. That's tiny. Oh my god! All right, that must be the only one nostril works. All the cocaine from the '80s. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> all right, now I gotta put a parental warning on this. Hey, it was the '80s. All right. Hey, we gotta take we're gonna take it on the road though. Yeah. We're gonna re recommit to the thing that we talked about last year and go to these breweries. Yeah. All right. I'm down. All right. Sounds good. All right, All right Pete. Thanks. Yep. See ya. Yep.